Overview Aloe vera gel is widely known to relieve sunburn and help heal wounds. But did you know that your favorite potted plant can be used for much more than sunburn relief and household decor? The succulent has a long history of being used for medicinal purposes, dating back to ancient Egypt. The plant is native to North Africa, Southern Europe, and the Canary Islands. Today, aloe vera is grown in tropical climates worldwide, from relieving heartburn to potentially slowing the spread of breast cancer. Researchers are just beginning to unlock the benefits of this universal plant and its many byproducts. Heartburn Relief Gastroesophageal reflux disease is a digestive disorder that often results in heartburn. A 2010 review suggested that consuming 1 to 3 ounces of aloe gel at mealtime could reduce the severity of jerk. It may also ease other digestion-related problems. The plant's low toxicity makes it a safe and gentle remedy for heartburn, keeping produce fresh. A 2014 study published online by the Cambridge University Press looked at tomato plants coated with aloe gel. The report showed evidence that the coating successfully blocked the growth of many types of harmful bacteria on the vegetable. This means that aloe gel could help fruits and vegetables stay fresh and eliminate the need for dangerous chemicals that extend the shelf life of produce, an alternative to mouthwash. In a 2014 study trusted source published in the Ethiopian Journal of Health Sciences, researchers found aloe vera extract to be a safe and effective alternative to chemical-based mouthwashes. The plant's natural ingredients, which include a healthy dose of vitamin C, can block plaque. It can also provide relief if you have bleeding or swollen gums, lowering your blood sugar. Ingesting two tablespoons of aloe vera juice per day can cause blood sugar levels to fall in people with type 2 diabetes, according to a study trusted source in Phytomedicine, International Journal of Phytotherapy and Phytopharmacy. This could mean that aloe vera may have a future in diabetes treatment. These results were confirmed by another study trusted source published in Phytotherapy Research that used pulp extract. But people with diabetes, who take glucose-lowering medications, should use caution when consuming aloe vera. The juice along with diabetes medications could possibly lower your glucose count to dangerous level. A natural laxative Aloe vera is considered a natural laxative. A handful of studies have looked into the benefits of the succulent to aid digestion. The results appear to be mixed. A team of Nigerian scientists conducted a study on rats and found that gel made from typical aloe vera houseplants was able to relieve constipation. But another study trusted source by the National Institutes of Health looked at the consumption of aloe vera whole leaf extract. Those findings revealed tumor growth in the large intestines of laboratory rats. In 2002, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration required that all over-the-counter aloe laxative products be removed from the U.S. market or be reformulated. The Mayo Clinic recommends that aloe vera can be used to relieve constipation, but sparingly. They advise that a dose of 0.04 to 0.17 grams of dried juice is sufficient. If you have Crohn's disease, colitis, or hemorrhoids you shouldn't consume aloe vera. It can cause severe abdominal cramps and diarrhea. You should stop taking aloe vera if you're taking other medications. It may decrease your body's ability to absorb the drugs. Skin Care You can use aloe vera to keep your skin clear and hydrated. This may be because the plant thrives in dry, unstable climates. To survive the harsh conditions, the plant's leaves store water. These water-dense leaves, combined with special plant compounds called complex carbohydrates, make it an effective face moisturizer and pain reliever, potential to fight breast cancer. A new study published in Evidence-Based Complementary and Alternative Medicine looked at the therapeutic properties of aloe amat, a compound in the plant's leaves. The authors suggest that the succulent shows potential in slowing the growth of breast cancer. However, more studies are needed to further advance this theory. Okay my dear. I will hope you get something from this video. We will meet another video. Subscribe and like my channel. Goodbye.